You know, I don't remember a time where we didn't work and where we didn't work as a family. Everything we did, we did together. And from the time I was a real little girl, I was outside with my dad. We lived on a ranch and farmed. And so we were chasing cows, uh, riding horses, driving tractors, and we did it together. So the one thing that I think has been a special gift to me growing up was that I grew up with a family that knew how to work and, and focused on the importance of work and the dignity that came with it. I loved uh, being outside with my dad. All I wanted to do was to stay on the farm and to continue to work outside with animals and, and on the land. I think that changed pretty dramatically when I was in college and my dad was killed in an accident. So I came back and took over as general manager of the operation. But we got hit with bad tax policy, uh, with the death tax, uh, that hit our operation at a time of tragedy and it made me angry. So that's really what made the shift in my life was recognizing that we needed normal people that had been running businesses weighing in on policy, that we really were the best informed on what the real life consequences were of that policy. I believe in work and I think that people feel valuable and are able to contribute to society. So anytime we have an opportunity with a, um, a program, a support program, something that the government is coming in and helping people that are in poverty, I want to tie that to an opportunity to get them trained to fill a job. We have thousands of empty jobs in South Dakota. So every opportunity the federal government, the state government, the local counties and cities can interact with those people, we should be identifying ways that we can train them to fill the jobs that we need filled, but also giving them the opportunity to increase their incomes to better support their families. There's so many decisions that I can make every single day to change our approach to how we interact with people to help lift them up into a new level of success. Well, it's not my goal to get more people on government programs. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily, when you expand Medicaid, deliver better healthcare outcomes for people. So my goal is to make sure that we're getting people into higher income levels so that they're not on Medicaid. Get them into a job that provides health care, better takes care of their families. And that's a quicker approach. It's one that will help them in the long run much better and it gets less people involved in a government program, which at times can cripple them and keep them on that program for a long period of time. So I'm much more interested in supporting families and helping them be successful. We as policymakers should never quit working to make sure we're taking care of those families the best we can too.